And I met him, he was selling sneakers. He's starting to get fame, and I'm kind of feeling like, okay, well, feeling a little left behind. Kevin Hart's ex-wife has chosen to align herself with Team Cat Williams, especially after his bombshell revelations about Kevin. Adding to the drama, she's gearing up to hit the road on tour with the comedian, and fans are buzzing with speculation that this collaboration might unleash a torrent of well-kept secrets. So, what exactly is going on? Tori Hart, who was married to Kevin from 2003 to 2011, will be joining Kat for three shows starting with a stop at the Bojangles Coliseum in Charlotte, North Carolina later this month. While only three shows featuring Tori were initially announced, she teased that more dates would be confirmed soon. Tori also appeared to lean into the recent controversy by resharing a clip from the interview. In the clip, William said he only tours with comedians who are funnier than me. Anyone who told you differently was a fat Faison liar, Williams said in the clip, referring to comedian Faison Love. Meanwhile, Kevin Hart appears to be extremely apprehensive about the possibility of certain revelations coming to light. According to Cat Williams, there is a plethora of information that Torrey Hart could expose. For starters, Torrey once opened up on her past marriage with Kevin, detailing how they met, the ups and downs of their marriage, and how Kevin started ignoring her when he became famous. According to Torrey, she held Kevin down while he had nothing, and and helped build his career into the celebrated phenom he is today. The couple were blessed with two children, Heaven and Hendrix, during their seven-year marriage, which ended in 2010. Though the couple cited irreconcilable differences as the official reason for their divorce, many sources claimed that it was because Kevin cheated. According to the sources, Torre would have forgiven the ride-along star if he cheated only once or twice. However, the comedian had apparently done it so often that Torre couldn't find the strength to forgive or the room in her heart to accommodate her ex-husband's indiscretions. Thus, she chose the path that would bring her peace and closure, which was divorce. Kevin Hart himself has admitted to cheating on his wife in some of his comedic routines, much to the chagrin of Torai. Yes, people, I cheated. Am I ashamed of it? No. No, I'm not. Do I wish that I could take it back? No. No, I don't. Torre, who appears to be tired of that routine, once quipped, I have an ex-husband who has repeatedly used me in his stand-up routines. For years, I had to endure that. In addition to this, Torre Hart purportedly revealed the list of women she suspects Kevin Hart had an affair with while they were still married. People who claim to have seen the list mention Kevin Hart's current wife, Eniko Parrish, as the first on the list. Curiously, Eniko gave herself away when she mentioned in a social media post that she'd been together with Kevin for eight years, when the comedian was only divorced for six. On the 13th of August 2017, Kevin Hart and his new wife took to social media to celebrate one year of marriage. The Get Hard star wrote, Happy one year anniversary to this unbelievable wife of mine. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for loving me and supporting me at the highest level. Thank you for loving and embracing my kids. Thank you for turning my house into a home. Thank you for simply making me happy. You are and will forever be my rib. Point one year down and the rest of our life to go. Our family and our union is getting bigger and stronger and I love it. However, Eniko's heartfelt message ratted her out. She wrote, when it's real, no love or bond can ever be faked nor broken. My partner in life, my other half that makes me whole, my soulmate. Thank you for always keeping a smile on my face. I love you more every day, eight years together, one year married, forever to go. Happy one year anniversary, babe, we made it. However, eagle-eyed commenters saw Eniko's apparent slip and called her out for wrecking Tore Hart's home. Eniko fought back, indicating that Tore and her husband were separated for two years, each partner living in different houses. So, she didn't break any home but instead laid the blame squarely at the feet of Tore Hart for her failed marriage. She insisted that the rumors were spread by Tore herself and called on her to take responsibility for her actions in the failed marriage. Eniko then dropped another bombshell. She claimed that there were many other women in Kevin's life besides her, but Torre targeted her because she clicked with Kevin. Torre also replied, insisting they were still together, living under the same roof when Eniko made her way into Kevin Hart's life. She said, Eniko, sweetheart, normally I don't feed into this, but when you addressed me, you forced my hand to respond. 
We have made successful strides to become a loving co-parenting family, but you have now left it open for my character to be questioned. You, Kevin, and I know the truth. Torre then said Kevin Hart would do the same to Eniko, and true to her words, the comedian cheated on Eniko when she was seven months pregnant. In 2017, a video circulated on the internet showing a man, who many assumed to be the comedian, getting cozy with a woman in bed. Soon, social media started buzzing with rumors that Kevin Hart was cheating on his wife of one year. To make matters worse, the ride-along actor had posted a picture of Eniko on social media that same weekend he cheated on her. Now aside from this, Hart has also been accused of selling his soul to the devil for fame. And according to fans, by him selling his soul, Kevin Hart allegedly opened a door to S addiction, which is probably the reason why he is always unfaithful in his marriages. See, if you know anything about Kevin's rise to fame, you'd know the man had one of the most meteoric rises that have ever been recorded for anyone in in their line of work. But his didn't even stop with just the comedy. It also spread into and over the film industry. It probably seemed like a given back in those days that Hart was part of the A-list. He was in multiple blockbusters every year. He starred in H&M ads alongside David Beckham, and he hosted the MTV Movie Awards. But upon closer inspection, one quickly saw that firstly, he was actually light years more successful than originally realized, and that it all happened far faster than normal. Age 43, it's exciting to know that I've grown from so much and and you know the the world of want is significantly different than what it once was. But that's Kevin Hart. He's not normal. Or that's what we believed at least because according to Kat, this might have had something to do with him rubbing some backs in the industry, euphemistically speaking, that is. During his interview, Kat expressed frustration with the industry's tendency to overlook his suggestions for comedy projects. He claimed that for a five-year period, every movie Kevin Hart worked on had been on his desk first. Williams asserted that his input involved pushing for changes to avoid perpetuating certain stereotypes, but his suggestions were allegedly ignored. This led him to question the authenticity of the industry's commitment to diversity and innovation. Cat Williams also addressed the issue of comedic standards during the interview. He explained that his refusal to compromise on certain content, specifically avoiding overtly homosexual themes, had led to him losing out on opportunities. Williams argued that he wasn't against humor, but advocated for a more thoughtful and considerate approach to comedy that didn't rely on outdated and potentially offensive tropes. You see, Cat has a long history of calling out Hollywood elites and their shady ways of controlling black celebrities. In a 2013 interview with Black Tree TV, while discussing his role in Scary Movie 5, Cat delved into some interesting topics, including a theory about black actors being forced to wear dresses on screen in order to progress to the next level of fame. It's worth noting that this interview came out not long after Kevin Hart appeared on an SNL skit wearing a dress. For context, it all started when Dave Chappelle, another revered comedian, appeared on Oprah's show in 2006, where he talked openly about his refusal to accept a $50 million deal from Comedy Central. He felt that such deals came with strings attached, and he was unwilling to be controlled or humiliated for the sake of a paycheck. Chappelle's revelations didn't end there. He recounted being asked to wear a dress for a movie scene, an experience that left him deeply uncomfortable. According to him, many comedians had faced similar situations, having to don dresses on screen, and it often coincided with a critical juncture in their careers. This, too, was a nod to the prevailing industry belief that black entertainers needed to cross this peculiar threshold to advance. Fast forward to 2012, when Kevin Hart was asked about Dave Chappelle's claims during a radio show. While he didn't explicitly say no to ever wearing a dress, Hart emphasized the importance of personal boundaries. He stated that crossing these boundaries was non-negotiable for him. You have to have you have to have boundaries, you have to have limits that you refuse to cross. He even cited examples of bizarre requests he had received, such as dribbling a basketball on a talk show, which he politely declined. Hart stressed the importance of protecting his brand and the potential risks of compromising it. However, just a year later, Hart appeared in an SNL skit where he donned a dress, a move that drew sharp criticism from fans. Some accused him of being a sellout, arguing that he had contradicted his earlier stance. The skit portrayed him as a nine-year-old child pope, an image that many believe didn't align with the Kevin Hart they had come to know. The new pope is nine-year-old Oscar nominee, Pavanchine Wallace. 
Cat Williams seized this opportunity to reignite the feud. He suggested that Kevin Hart's actions on SNL were merely part of a larger pattern, insinuating that Hart was willingly playing by the industry's rules to secure fame and fortune. Williams claimed that Hart's success allowed him to escape criticism for wearing a dress, as a long line of comedians had already done so before him. At the end of the day, Kevin doesn't have to worry about what people are gonna say about him wearing a dress because of the long line of dress wearing people before him. He pointed to movies like Big Mama's House and the Medea franchise as examples of previous instances where comedians had donned dresses. Williams didn't go all out in his attack on Hart. Instead, he subtly questioned the choices made by comedians who aimed for mainstream success. He hinted that some entertainers, including himself and Dave Chappelle, were willing to go against the grain and, as a result, might never attain the same level of fame as Hart. However, Hart's cozying up to industry elites is not limited to just one method. Kevin Hart once hosted a party that raised many eyebrows of speculation against him. The party was named the Dirty Money Party, which resonated with irony and foreboding. We're here, Dirty Money, Alpha Police Party, last train to Paris, it's crazy. Uh, I decided to switch scenes, got too hectic down there. I'm up here in a hot tub. Diddy, the evening's unofficial king, moved through the crowd with a magnetic presence, his influence palpable in every handshake and laugh. Hart, the ever-gracious host, navigated the party with a comedian's ease, his laughter a soundtrack to the night's festivities. The Dirty Money Party was a testament to his close ties with Diddy. This event, marked by luxury and celebrity presence, showcased their camaraderie. Hart, as the host, and Diddy, the guest of honor, navigated the party with an ease that spoke of their deep connection in the entertainment world. Ladies, I need y'all to come in. Ladies, y'all security, if they ain't dancing, they gotta go home. Many fans believe that while Kevin and Diddy both held these parties, it's not too difficult to believe that they both have been indulging in activities that have caused controversies around them. You see, Diddy is especially known for throwing his controversial gay parties, and his being present at Hart's party only means one thing. It was probably one of of those parties. In any case, the buzz surrounding Kevin Hart's ex-wife joining Cat Williams on tour is fueling speculation that she's done playing the protective ex. It seems like she's ready to spill all the tea and fans are itching to get a taste of the real story. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.